Did you know there is a national day for banana bread? And that day is February 23rd. That's today. Coincidentally, last weekend, I happened to have shot a banana bread recipe. And this banana bread, it comes out big, it's moist, it's delicious. And you're gonna love it. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right here on the Aimless Cook. Now in a mixing bowl here, I'm gonna take two cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine them together, mix them up, and then I'm going to set that bowl aside. Now in this bowl here in the mixer, I've got half a cup of butter and three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, which I'm just gonna beat together until well blended. Now the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna combine two large beaten eggs, which I got here. I'm gonna put that into the bowl with the butter mixture. And to that, I'm also going to add about five or six really, really ripe bananas that I've mashed. Now I'm just gonna set my mixer here on low here just to get it started. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gradually add that flour mixture that I had from the beginning until I get it just combined and then I'm going to stop. And that is gonna be my batter for the banana bread. Now grease up a standard loaf pan with some butter and then we're just gonna pour our batter in. Um, just spread everything nice and even, give it a tap on the counter to get rid of the extra air bubbles that there may be on the bottom. And then you wanna slip that into a preheated 350 degree oven for approximately 60 minutes. Now to ensure that your banana bread is done, just poke in a toothpick and if it comes out clean, you're good to go. Now resist the urge, let this rest for at least half an hour before you start slicing into it because you're gonna get a much better texture, it'll hold together better and it's just gonna be delicious. So after that, go nuts, spread some nice butter on top or however you wanna enjoy it and that's it, that's my banana bread recipe, I hope you enjoyed it. So take this recipe, make it yours, and have fun in the kitchen, which brings me to my question of the day. What is your favorite thing to bake? And if you don't bake, hey, what's the favorite thing you like to get at the bakery? Let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching The Aimless Cook.